So when we first start using CAD Sketcher, we need to set the scaling. The default is one Blender unit per the unit you selected for the scale. So I'm just going to delete this cube. We'll come over to CAD Sketcher and see what we have at the moment. We'll add a sketch upon this plane and we'll create a circle. Like so. Let's look from the Z axis. Come over to Tools, and we'll place a diameter so we can see what our diameter is. At the moment, it's saying 8.5. So our scaling hasn't been set. So on the right hand side, if I look down my tabs and hover over this one here, the scene, if I click on that, I can get to a number of drop downs in here. And one of them is the units. We open up that. At the moment, the unit system is set to none. I'm just going to leave the sketch a moment, hit N on the keyboard, and just bring this out so we can see what we've got in here. We drop this down, we can set it to metric. Now we have a number of options down here. The length at the moment is set to meters. If I come into my sketch and edit it, the dimension now is set to meters. Let's change this to millimeters. We've now got a dimension of millimeters. So we can click on that now. We click on the arrow and change this to 85 and hit enter. And now we've got the millimeters. I can zoom in and we've got a unit system set up, ready to go. We also got the unit scale in here as well. So with this, we can set this to 0.001 for millimeters. And that's our scaling set. So now we can use CAD Sketcher in the millimeter unit system. Next, you may want to change the grid. And this can be accessed from the overlays. Come up to the top here, we have a series of icons at the top. And this one, if I drop it down, that says overlays. We've got the grid here. And we can match the grid to our scale of 0.001. And you can see the grid has matched our scale. That's it, that's how to change the scale and the unit sizes so you can start using CAD Sketcher to start your modeling journey. Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.